Hey everybody, this is Leah at Cargo, and today we're going to go over form messages and messaging. So now that we've gone over workflow and you can see how to send in arrival calls, loaded, empty, it's not macros one, two, three, four, they're all integrated. You don't have to remember the numbers and send them in order, it does it for you. But there are other macros that you still need access to. And these are going to be called form messages. They're here in your middle app tray called form messages. So if you pull up form messages, you're going to see all the ones that are still in there that you may need. Um, a macro 10 for dropping or picking up a trailer, mileage requests, encountering bad weather, a weight problem, if you get a DOT citation. For local drivers, your time clock is right there if you're involved in an accident. So these are the other ones that you're going to need to have access to, and these are under form messages. You can fill out a new form. The only form message or macro that you're used to having in this spot that is not there is a double zero, a free form message, and that's in a different place. These are form messages, or what we used to call macros. So I'm going to touch my home button, and to send a free form message to my dispatcher, I'm going to click messaging. And this is just like texting back and forth with your dispatcher, sending a quick email. So you can do anything as far as sending a message. Um, you can just type a message. I'm going to say, send me a dispatch. And you can type your load, or excuse me, type your message and send it to your fleet leader. So you're just writing back and forth. That is where your free form messages are going to be. So form messages are macros. Messaging is just you writing back and forth. The other thing I mentioned about these tablets, if it ever asks you to allow a permission, um, have permission to run a new program, have permission to have your location access, please always say yes. Anytime there's an update to an app or a new app that we push out, it's going to always ask for permissions. So if it asks you if it's okay, please always say yes. We are never going to push anything that's going to be harmful to it. So always say yes to any permissions that it asks. Again, if you ever have questions with anything as far as hours of service, you can call Leah or Tim. If you have anything as far as how to work the system or any issues that you're having, please call into your fleet leader.